Lumière. Light. Lumière du soleil. Lumière. The light of the sun. Dieu. God. Dieu la lumière. The light of God. Dieu la sagesse. The knowledge of God. Qui emplit tout. That fills everything. Dieu. God. La grande harmonie. The great harmony. Dieu. God. La bonté. Goodness. Le prendre soin. To take care of one another. Dieu. God. La lumière. The light. La sagesse. Wisdom. L'harmonie. Harmony. La bonté. Goodness. Le grand prendre soin. The great common good. Dieu. God. Omnipresent. Omnipresent. À l'intérieur. Within us. Tout autour. All around. Je t'honore. I honor you. Je te bénis. I bless you. J'entre. I enter. En communion. In communion. Avec toi. With you. Ma pensée. My thoughts. Mon souffle. My breath. Ma perception. My perception. En toi. In you. I'm wishing you a great Sunday de Dieu. and the beautiful light. C'est une merveille, c'est une grandeur, c'est une dévotion, c'est une rencontre, c'est c'est la source du bien de de ce qui est noble, c'est de faire apparaître le divin dans une forme. Car nul n'a jamais vu Dieu, mais le, la forme 
is a marvel. It's a greatness and a devotion. It's a meeting. It's the source of the common good of what is noble. To make appear the divine in a form because no one has ever seen God, but the form can reveal it to us. The form reveals God. So there have been religions that have come, but it was always like something where man was in it. But now you have like the perfection that has appeared on earth through the work that has been accomplished through the angels and the archangels because it's the archangels that have done this and ultimately they have given us this perfection it's not really we can't really understand it it's just like this it's beyond comprehension and you have this statue that has appeared and you don't know if it's a man or a woman but really if you look closely it's not really a man and a man meaning a human being, but it's the manifestation or an organic manifestation of the form of man of light. And that being always came and was always there. We are turning around it like the round of archangels, but we are not really approaching him. Now I see many things that I didn't see before because of this statue. It's like something Something that comes into your life and clears you. So you see things, things much greater because there is a being in your life. It can happen. Someone can come into your life and just enlightens you, and you can see life in a wholly, completely different way. You can live through an experience, and it completely changes your vision, and you can lose your light. Or you can win this light. You can extinguish a light. And you will see everything in darkness. But you can also win the light in this case. And it will enlighten your life. And you will see things differently. And I'm telling you that the statue is a being that ultimately has appeared through the will of God and through the archangels. And this being changes everything. I see myself in in ancient worlds of my past, and I see myself praying God and to, and like a man in front of the of this angel, like many beings do. And now I see very clearly that there were two worlds inside of me. There was this world of man that was very that was like, if I can describe myself from within, it was like bowing in front of the master, Peter Denov, that was like, for me, God on earth, or he, her. And through this master, Peter Denov, and Umram Mikhail Avenov, and Rudolf Scheiner, and others that were less clear, it's like a glow. I'm thinking of Fabre Olivier and many others. And then you grow and there was a splendor. It's just like Jesus. Like a marvel of all marvel. A splendor. It's like in a man. But all of this speech and all of the spoken words that were said were the great words of love. Of, of asking for forgiveness, of going donc, towards God. And there's also spoken words that were much greater, just like the archangels. And it's always Mais them that spoke. And you can see that there was this being inside of me that would bow. And I invite you to do the same thing. It's collective, and it's in truth. You had this being that bowed, and... There's a side that is pleasing for the light. But that being is still a being that is going towards recycling and transformation. And I was in front of an angel. But how is it possible, something like this, now that I'm looking back, I see that this Oliver that lived inside of this body was sincere, but he was still, how can I explain this? I don't, I don't know if you can see what you've done in the past and to see that it's, it's honest, it's, it's a great honesty. 
that being was funny if I look at him. I'm letting the psychiatrist analyze me and he's looking at himself and by speaking, yes, but it's real life. I'm looking at myself like you are also. And and behind this, you had this being that appeared like a mother that holds inside of her, her child. And this child has always been there. And there's a moment, what was hidden inside of her, she reveals it. She makes it appear and everyone sees it. And in reality, you had this being like Oliver that spoke to an angel, almost torturing this angel. Why? Oh, what must I do? Well, why should I do this? Yeah, but you telling me this there now. No, but I see myself now. Oh, but I would hold so many different. What he would tell me, I couldn't support it. So I would say, yeah, but because I had arguments. Yeah, it's, it's quite nice what you're saying, but what do I do with this? I was like a child that needed to break things and go through these things. But I'm telling you that God is God, and now it's very clear, and I can see it now. And I can see that that being that was sincere, he needed to be transformed. And for all beings on earth, it's the same thing. For all men, it's not, we're, we're all, we're, we can be sincere. I can tell you, it's a right. Non, non, il faut être parfait. Je suis parfait. Right. Tout ce que j'ai dit était parfait. J'ai pas le droit de me, de me tromper. We eh bien, are, ne pas avoir le droit de se tromper, de ne pas avoir le droit to de faire des erreurs. Eh bien, enfin, and it's just, and we are allowed to do things not si well because that's how we're going to learn. Explain to me a world that is completely asepticized. Yes, that's what we're putting into your head. It's a collective hypnosis. I'm perfect. I'm born perfect. Everything that I did was perfect. And I shouldn't even make a mistake. Not even have, uh, not even allowed to make mistakes. It's a neg negation of an individuality. Because if you are a unique person, you are completely unique, and God did this. Who can do something like this, that you are a unique person? There's no two alike. It's quite incredible, isn't it? In every one, we share this perception of being unique, and it can isolate us, and we can be unique alone, but the beauty really is to be together, but staying unique. It's the rain of individuality and a community of love and respect. That is the beauty of all beauties. It's not to be all alike by the force and of police. That is to be the opposite of education, to impose something that would be the norm. But the norm cannot be with unity and biodiversity and all the forms and all the colors and all these things. So, of course, we have the right to be mistaken and to do experiences. And we are, we are allowed with gentleness and to transform ourselves and to be in an envir environment that is gentle. And that's what I saw in the angel. I really saw what I'm telling you, a superior world. And now, even looking at this, this angel, his diplomacy, his... How did he know all of this? Because he knew that if he went into that territory, something appeared in the world of in men, of justice, of illusion, of beliefs. And to live on the earth is to take away all of these illusions and to do these experiences and digest it. And I'm telling you that in reality, the angel did not look at this being in formation in training, but he looked at the child that was going to be born. And it was that being that was perfect, eternal, that is omnipresent. And now you have the quintessence of all of our work. If you are in a Nicene circle, it's because you really want to serve God. Like you are, with your qualities and your faults, it has no real interest 
what is the interest is what is hidden, what will appear. So the statue has appeared, and that is a truth. There was before and after, and now the statue, she will exist. It's just the beginning. It's, it's just starting. The statue has appeared in the center of the round of archangels. It's not really us that have done this. We were unconscious of all of this. And who is looking at all of this and how it was done? You will see a mystery that will appear. And is this statue, has it existed? Yes. Did it exist at this degree of perfection? No, I don't see even on anything on earth, any even going beyond antiquity of everything that we have realized. I think that it can be strange to hear what I'm saying, but it's a perfection. A statue in the middle of the round of archangels with a statue of recycling that is behind is a marvel. The statue of God. There is no words. The statue of recycling, that can we also call the statue of recycling and rigor. Because in this statue, there's also an envelopment, something that is gentle, and also something that is rigor, a discipline, something that you can do, and there's things that you cannot do. There's things that I can't do. Yes, it's because you can't do them. But it's something that you can do. Do you understand? There's the same things that you shouldn't do, but you can do them. But if you do them, it's not really bad in itself, but you will have the consequences that will go along with it. And you cannot escape the consequences of what you are doing. It's very hard, very easy to understand, because in reality, if we stop us from believing that we can make mistakes, then we will stop this individuality. How are you, explain to me, how are you going to do it? How are you going to give the experience to somebody else? Because for the other one to have this experience, he has to do it himself. Can you arrive and and help the other person understand without doing the experience. Yes, it's called education. You have to have the body and master and to bring something that is true to the other and nourish him and bring him a body. For him, it will be just nothing. He will do something completely small and understand everything and he will not have to go further because he will have the body that you have transmitted to him. But to stop someone from doing it without giving him the knowledge, come on people. He will not have the experience. If he doesn't have the experience, he doesn't have it. What will happen? Well, he will be just be a zombie that will obey by force, but not by his interior conviction, not by his self-awakenment. The one that stops individuality or his unity and completely abolishes it. Because God wanted him to be unique and be an individual and live in a community for the goodness of all. So there's no negativity, but, but there is the statue, the statue that is an, op an opportunity and that is ultimately a rigor. Peter Dinov on earth. It's an opportunity. Either you take it or you won't take it. You will not be condemned. You will have the effects. If you put my your hand in the fire, you'll say that you're condemned. No, you're not condemned. Just don't put your hand in the fire. Do not use the lie. Do not use hate or war. War is illegal. War is illegal, completely illegal. No, I don't care. I want to do what I want to do. And I don't respect the laws of God. You will not hurt anyone else. Father, deliver me from evil. Do you understand? Father, deliver me from temptation. To be an idiot, deliver me from darkness. But then what is a non-knowledge? Well, how can you do it if you're ignorant and not well-educated and you can't even do the, make the difference between a lie and, and truth? 
How do you do this? Because you have been well, not well educated, not well raised. If you let anyone just come into your house and govern it, then you have no strength. So in that case, how are you going to do this? Well, my friend, it is written. You will suffer. It is written. It is written. So how can I not suffer then? Then you have to change the writing. How do I change the writing? You have to change yourself. You have to change the way of looking at things, of com behaving. Oh, oh, it's very hard. I have to take that person and put him outside. Well, of course. Well, how do I do this? I am scared to go tell that person, well, try, my friend, because a certain moment you're going to try and you're going to take it away. Because the one that you harvest is the one that the one that you grow, the one is the one that you harvest. It's the law of recycling. So you do a devotion to the statue of light. And of rigor, and of opportunity, and then after. Well, it had always existed, that teaching has always existed, but it appears in a splendor. Because you understand, um, we are in darkness, and we will be in the temple, and we will put the statues of recycling, and we will put the worship, and we will live with light, not only think of it, but to live with it. And for all of this, we need this organization. Today, we are living with darkness, with messages of the, of the darkness and of government of just anything that brings war everywhere and couples and families and in the world and suffering. People that are suffering of solitude and of conflicts between beings. But we should love one another, take one another in our, in our arms. No being should be lost or abandoned. You see a child that is crying tomorrow that we see this child and we're going to pass, not even say, Oh, a, a, a man or a woman that is crying and we pass. Where's the difference between that woman or a man and a child? Where, where is the difference? That's what it is to be an individual in dignity and honesty and beauty, to do a, an act of nobility and makes us feel good and to live in a, in a world of beauty. For all of this, we need discernment, a whole knowledge, and it needs to appear, and it is starting. The statue of God, the statue of recycling, the two are like something great. Because when I go towards the statue of God, well, it's very simple. There is nothing. It is God. I can't speak of it. I have no words. I'm sorry. You have God that amplifies everything. One day I said in a conference, in a lecture, do you know what I'm going to put in the statue of recycling? I'm going to put the totality of Oliver in the garbage. And it shocked people. And oh, no, Oliver, it's not politically correct, restrain yourself, come on, you shouldn't say these things. Oh, well, what do you want me to say when I'm thinking of it? I can't say what I'm thinking, and I can't say what I'm doing, because when I went towards God, I saw that Oliver was just nothing, just like smoke, that really just passes. And what pleases me in this being is just that his will, his sincere will, to bow in front of God and to serve Him. And there you have the perfection of recycling. It's the world of recycling, the world of, of men. I'm telling you a few words. It's like an introduction. Look at this word of recycling. It's like to redo a cycle. It's the round of archangels. The recycling is the round of archangels. And we speak in reality of garbage. But if you look at the Bible, God did made the world in seventh day and everything was perfect. And the eighth day is the day of garbage where men have become garbage and where men was rejected. What will you reject? 
garbage. And what is said in the Bible? Man was rejected of paradise. He had become garbage. What is man? It's the Bible that says it. Is it because the Bible says it? No, but the entire life says it. We recognize a tree by its fruit. What generates man on earth? Garbage. What is electricity? Garbage. What is its civilization of humanity? A man. Garbage. You go to Montreal, you see an enormous garbage. That's what generates man, garbage. Why? Because he can't do anything else. He is that. Do you see in nature garbage? In the sense of something that is not something that you need, that can be used. Psychologists will say, oh, by a lie, you will stop suffering. Oh, what a beautiful story. That the lie would help us not suffer. Come on. But in the world of garbage, of course that a lie can stop you from suffering because you must live with a path of dignity and of beauty. But in nature, in nature everything can be used. And look at nature. It will not generate any garbage because you have garbage in nature but of course, but it, it serves the ensemble and they're instantaneously recycled. There is not anything, a garbage that stays as a garbage. Like a school of garbage to fabricate garbage. You see the garbage of humans and you see the offense to God. Because even the septic tanks I am set. It's the limit to an offense of God because it's a blockage of the world. It's to take care of the garbage and to put it together. Because when we look at the ancients, they didn't generate any garbage. Um, to pee, your, your urine is a fertilization of the earth. Everything was completely re reused. And all the objects were sacred. We transmitted it from generation to generation. And we would give to generation dresses to get married and spoons. I can guarantee you that the young girl was very happy to get, to get married in the dress of the mother. I don't want now, I don't want to enter into the dress of my mother. Now I don't want to anymore. It's, of course, I don't want to resemble my mother anymore. And even less my grandmother. But before they would just add something new to it. There was no garbage. We didn't put anything in the garbage. We would ennoble things. We didn't we lived with it. We didn't reject the world or reject God. We live with it. I'm telling you that the future is strong of opportunity and it's perfect today. And that we are living is conform to everything that we need to live. Live, and then the experiences that we have done, and there's nothing that is bad about it. It's an in human invention, just like garbage. Garbage is a human invention. There is no garbage in nature. There is no being that, that has any has no place in his in nature. It's man that has invented to not things that are not utilized. It's an invention, human invention. In nature, you don't see things that can't be used. You don't see things that isn't in knowledge or harmony of the ensemble. And everything participates to this harmony. It's man that has invented conflict, the fundamental conflict. I'm not saying that there's no war in nature or in plants and humans. You can't have a new utopia, a vision but all of this goes towards a superior world, a homage to God, and God is omnipresent, and all the beings venerate him, the form of the sun of all the things, but everything is oriented towards the center and towards this goal and participates towards this common goal. And staying in this individuality, a tree is a tree, 
a mineral is a mineral, a horse is a horse, but a man, we really don't know what it is at the end. He doesn't even know who he is anymore. So the statue of recycling, it is a whole world, a whole knowledge, a whole art of being and of living, a whole discernment. It's not really, it's not only a garbage, because if it was only a garbage, then what are you going to put in garbage? You would have to be a wise what you needed to throw away and not throw away. But life is showing you that nothing should be thrown away and everything should be digested and used to conduct towards a knowledge, a balance, and a mastering. So it is a worship. And we must go more and more and live with it and make appear the worlds that are hiding behind all of this. La sagesse, c'est la splendeur, c'est la grandeur du monde de l'homme, c'est la maîtrise du monde de l'homme. Si tu engendres des déchets, tu souffriras. Si tu as une vie sans tu seras avec rigor and of Si tu engendres des déchets, tu souffres. Parce que les déchets, is the totality of the worlds of men. This knowledge is the grandeur of the world of men. It's the mastering of the world of men. If you generate statues. garbage, you will suffer. Vous avez la statue If de you Dieu. have a life without garbage, you will be Et with God. Vous avez les êtres qui If you generate garbage, you will suffer. Because garbage... Dieu. You will need ensuite, to eat this garbage and to live with it. Et ensuite, vous avez les anges. Les anges. You have two statues. Comment ils vivent? Les anges, you have the exemple. statue of God. Le mot est affection. Il est and étrange, ce mot, hein? you Parce have the beings that honor the statue of God, meaning the gods. Then you have the archangels, Par exemple, un ange ne peut pas and then you have the angels. En étant faux. Je peux pas vous How did they live? The angels, for example. The world is affection. Nous, ce it's fait, strange, that world, because at the same time faire. it's an affection, and at the same time it's like has Parce a double sense anges, se to be eux. effective. Like, for example, an angel cannot speak by being false. I, I can't really explain it to you. It's what we are doing, an angel cannot do it. He doesn't understand because the angels, when they speak to one another, they speak only with their heart. They cannot lie. It's something else. Us, we can think of something and say the opposite. But for them, it's like we would take, we would take an axe and we would cut our leg. We cannot, in theory, but we, we, don't, we don't want to do it. But what we're doing today, we're cutting our legs off. No, we're going to play something else, play another game. I don't really want to do anything. Like the Russian roulette. We're going to cut our leg just softly and then the other. No, nobody does this for the angels to not be in the affection and to not be in truth to speak or to express themselves on the Outside of what their heart is saying, it's impossible. That's why, why is it impossible for them? And for us, why is it possible? Why can we lie? Because for us, we are not turned towards adoration of God. But we are turned towards the adoration of the statue of recycling, meaning the physical body. Nos oreilles, nos sens, notre âme. Parce que vous bien the physical quand... body Parce que is destined to serve, si to serve to serve the food Alors, of exemple, a world and it will be devoured. It's his final destination, grand, hein, qui, qui the ones that devours. It's not negative ah, ah, and he will be digested. But for us, our eyes, our ears, our senses, our soul, because you understand 
after we can say we want to we can say that here is the spirit really if you want to it's very beautiful the spirit for example Fabre Olivier that was an extraordinary linguist the one of the greatest on earth since the Egyptians for him he did a dictionary of of the Occitan language I don't really remember. And the one, he explains here the word es, esprit, spirit. And he says it's the verb to be. Essene, 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 the verb to be, God, in an ancient language, it meant God. It's grammar, right? It's, there's a knowledge behind all of this, but for us, we live unconsciously. We senses that are condemned, because between the body and the spirit, there are, there are all the degrees of subtlety. If you look at the statue of recycling, meaning the physical body, and that we are turned towards it, then the body will tell you. Put everything in appearances. Does it function? Of course. In the world of recycling, the greatest garbage is bowed upon. It's incredible. Open your eyes. The most beautiful garbage is bowed upon. Because it's not how it's been wrapped but it's, in, it's what is inside but today the more the wrapping is beautiful and the more inside it is garbage the more it sells is it negative no it's just the world of recycling just you have to know where you want to live the angels for them they do not love the physical body. They haven't been educated that way. It's another world. We're happy that the angels are the angels. Without them, wouldn't it be ugly? There wouldn't be any more knowledge or dignity. If you say dignity to a man that lives for garbage, well, he will speak dignity in the world of appearances. In the world of false dignity we don't care is to we really want to do what we want to do and in reality there so you have this world here and just below it you have the world of men but in reality these men there they are Essenes so of course the Essenes because we're turning towards the angels and the archangels and we want to make appear God. But the problem that there there is is that here you have the world of light. And here I don't know how to call it really. It's the, it's like a world to conquer. Because when you go into this world, it's a world where you can exist. On the exterior is the world of individuality, the world of existence. So you go, you are going below into darkness. There's the light here. Here's the source. You hear you have warmth. Here you have the power of light. Oh, don't they want the power? They want domination but not turn towards God, turn towards darkness, towards garbage, the power to destroy, to impose, not the power of the superior worlds, not the intelligence of the superior worlds. So the problem with this is that you have the world of darkness and you are giving them the power. Well, try and you'll see. You just take anyone and you give them the power. He has no intelligence, no knowledge, so he's normal. And all of a sudden you give him the absolute power. Well, he'll do anything he wants to on earth. He will dominate you and crush you because he has the power of the darkness. You have to know what you're going to in putting in garbage. If not, you have no friends anymore. If you put everything all of the beautiful things into garbage. 
At the end, you have no friends, you have nothing anymore, because nobody wants to live with you anymore. So the beings, they leave you. So the school of Paracels, they call this the astral body. Meaning, the Egyptians and for us the Essenes, we call this the double. For us, everything that exists has a double. The spiritualists call this the spiritual world. The religious call, call this their religious double god. And this world ultimately is the world of influences. That's why he called it the astral body. Because ultimately, it's all the influences that goes towards this body. Because that's what I explained to you. You have the gods, meaning the spirit. You have the soul, the archangels. And you have the angels that are ultimately the destiny. What is the destiny? The destiny is the will of God. What is the destiny? Is to do the will of God. Only God reigns. But at the moment where you go out of this will, leave this will, then it becomes the will of who? And you will answer the will of God of man. Man is capable of doing his own will. But ultimately, he can only generate garbage with this. There. Because he is not God. If he leaves the world of the angels, he generates garbage. Do you want me to be clear? You don't have the choice to live with knowledge. If you leave knowledge instantaneously, darkness will come instantaneously. There's no in-between. Of course, there's degrees of darkness, of foolishness. You will see idiots that are intelligent, subtle and per perverse, and it will go lower. And then you really have the base, the world of men, the hierarchy of the world of men. What can they do? Can man bless what is an idiot and what is cruelty? No, he will reject. So he closes the doors, but he leaves this world in the world of recycling, meaning he leaves the idiot to be born, to prosper, become the kings of all, and there's a moment he wants to be elected. And And as soon as they're elected, they disappear. They are recycled. And ultimately, they, in their body of recycling, they disappear, but the double that they put in the world will not disappear, will continue to live in beyond, and will reincarnar reincarnate itself permanently. Do you understand? There. So, you have, for example, any one of us. There is the physical body that appears. Meaning, let's speak clearly, God for men. It's God for himself. They aren't conscious of this, but it is. They don't care. They say God, but what is interesting for them is to live in their body and to exist in beyond. But to exist of what? Like a garbage, like a being that is not God, that has real, hasn't been really born by God, but was like a mistake. That's why Buddha is great, and he says awakenment. There's no words. You have the physical man with his thoughts, with his emotions, his will, and his acts. He is entirely inhabited and unconscious, and it's like a reflex. He is created by this world of recycling to be recycled. It's the goal of his existence. And then we will educate him and 
for him to live in a world. And, uh, and in this, inside of him, we're going to put inside of him, because he's a human and the rights of man and man, man, man is this, but really man is a creation of this world of garbage. Then he will have a destiny, corporal destiny, a physical body, physical destiny, in his cells, because cells are memories. There are entire worlds that are transmitted from generation to generation through blood and everything that is in the body. So you have the life of your parents, and you have your own... Um, your own destiny that's individualized. Everything that you have done, if you have been good or if you have been a, a priest, you have done experiences, all of this is like an accumulation that will continue to exist. All of your acts, all the memory that is, that is put together and that will come back permanently to see you. It's like a bottle that you threw in threw in the ocean. It will continue to come back to you. It will travel and it will continue to come back. Then there will be the white jacket here and then there will be the green jacket and then we'll continue. The trees are the trees. The sun will go will go to bed, but we know that the next day it will continue and it will continue permanently. And it's always the same experiences. It's There's no evolution. The decor changes, but it's the same beings that are behind all of this and the same experiences. And you leave through the same experiences without winning anything. You can even impoverish yourself. You can either, it can go worse to worse. And after, you have like a karma of destiny, of results from your individuality. And there is like something from your family also and of your nation, but it can be something of the entire humanity because you are linked. You are linked to everything that you have done. You are linked to what you have done. You are linked to what your family did. You are linked. You are linked to what your country did. You are linked. And you are linked to what humanity has, has done. You are linked. If you do not have the right to generate garbage if a chief of state lies. With all the hieroglyphs and journalism and the interpreters, it is incredible in the world that we have created. Because before, on 10, 8 would work and 2 would comment. Now, 1 works and 9 comments. But now, you have seen, oh, how he touched how he touched the hammer and oh he was frustrated there was you only have commenters that creates worlds and creates worlds and don't serve anything and they complicate everything the art of complicating life the art of blocking all systems and ultimately you have these worlds and we are linked because if you permit this, you are associated to it and it will not stop. Then you have the door and you can enter to contemplate the statue of God. Do you understand that man, a statue of recycling, it's much bigger than a simple garbage. I shouldn't generate any garbage when I told you a chief of state lies. The lie exists in all of the nation. It becomes the sky. At that moment, it exists and it will not want to stop because it is in the double. At that moment, the other chief of state that will come will recuperate this and the being of lie will want him to have more power because he's in a pr process of falling and of garbage generating without stop garbage and he can't stop anymore 
until it becomes a saturation and that man wants to change when he gets to that state. He will enter into something that is greater, meaning spiritual garbage. He will say, oh, we have to stop. We have to work for what is good. We have to work for what is honest. But the honesty, the service of who? Because honesty is better. But it's better for who? But for men to live together. Oh, we have garbage that is clean. But it's garbage. I don't know how to explain this to you. It can't be transmitted with the words, the spoken words, only with rituals, adoration, the work, practice, common good. Then you will see that only God is God and that man must disappear. You must disappear. You must want to. You must want this. You must want to live without garbage. You must want to die without generating any garbage, meaning there's nothing to reject because there's nothing that is bad, because bad is an invention of, human, of humans, just like death. It's a concept, a vision of the world. Of course, if you look at the body, death appears. If you do not look at the body, death doesn't appear. It's the body that tells you that there will be death. You look at an apple. The apple will die, but the seed inside of it will not die. But for us, the seed is negative. We call it a seed. Oh, something happens to me. It's negative. And we try to take all of the seeds away from every fruit. If you can take it away from the watermelon just to make it sterile, the only thing that interests us is death, not life, not what it flourishes towards immensity and grandeur. We do not live for what is greater than the body. We live for the body, but the body is only an embellishment of something else. If you eat an apple without a seed, she is dead and she has no longer any immortality. Of course, even in life, when things happen to you, that is what awakens you. It comes to get us, and it awakens us. In the world, you will have to suffer. Jesus, what a knowledge. He understood this, because you enter into this. You know how to enter, but you don't know how to leave, and all the illusions will be stole, stolen. You have to know, and you have to be armed. It's always the ones, the same ones that say that you shouldn't be armed. But for them, they are armed. You need to balance these things. Either everyone is armed or no one is armed. There's no a minority that is disarmed and a majority that is armed. Either we're armed or disarmed because we can at least have the chance to go against the ones that are armed. A majority against a minority, that's dem democracy. But it's always against. It's not good. It's a totalitarian system. We have to say it. It's systems that are full of garbage and that will pass because the garbage only always passes. Look at this drawing and put it... There it's vertical. Put it horizontally, and you have the enter. You can enter into the temple. The entering is here. The door. In front, you have the gargoyles, the lions, the dragons, and all of the people, the talismans, all these things to enter into the temple. And the first thing that you will see is the guardian, and he will tell you. How do you enter into the temple? How do you enter the temple to bring garbage and everything that is ugly? How do you enter? Are you awakened? If you're not awakened, you cannot enter into the temple because it's not garbage that enters at a temple. It's the one that at the service and to offer everything to God. You shouldn't offer it to the world of recycling. You shouldn't offer it. It generates garbage again and again. If you enter into the world of God, it has no garbage. So you must to take the seal of darkness. You should not be a man to enter into the temple. You must be a soul 
You have to have discernment. Everyone knows how to do this. No, because there wouldn't be any taxes or banks. All of that is garbage. Then there will be a Congress to go against whatever in France. All of this is rigid. And then when you go into stores, they do a discourse of, on everything. It has nothing to do with ecology, all of this. I was in a plane and I, I make a joke with with a joke with the person beside me, with the... Oh, it's no ecology. It's not good what you just did to, to break the, the plastic glass. But it's, oh, it's like a mental thought that everyone repeats when she said, oh, it's not good what you just did there. Oh, we're persuaded to help humanity with these glasses, these plastic glass. And then when you enter into the statue, into the temple, you must see this, the statue of recycling. You are a human in the world, but you're not a human in here. You're like a child. You have to have a discernment. You must be able to just observe yourself and observe your whole lineage. You must reject no one and bring all the forces towards experience. You must be in this awakened consciousness, and then you will enter into the temple and to work on yourself and your heredity. You will understand the influence. And after you will have done this preparation, there's a moment you're going to tell yourself, oh, it's terrible, because there is that in me. It completely stops me. And when you become conscious of this and you see that you have a problem in your life, you see that automatically there's a spirit. Okay? There's a genie. There's a memory that you are linked and an egregore that is behind it. Are these beings negative? No. All of these worlds are at the service of God. God reigns. No man is powerful. No man has power. Only God governs. Only man is wise. Only God is. Well, what is God? But no, if God becomes garbage, okay? It's man that makes God become a garbage because he's the one that generates this. But God is splendor and justice. God is respect. God is dignity. God is love. God is love. Then we are bowing in front of this because we know that we are not and that's the work that we have to do on ourselves to present yourself like you are because no one is negative everyone is allowed to make mistakes it's a right I'm telling you God bless this right that's why he made the world of recycling and he is in the world of goodness and that's why he permitted us to start over and over in this statue of recycling, it's a whole art of living. There's really a being. And when we're going to enter into the practice and this engagement, it's the school of God. It's wisdom. She will let pass the wisdom. So you see that when I let it fall like this and I make the temple appear, is it new what I'm teaching you? No, it's there. Dans la maison de Dieu, c'est la maison it's de there. Dieu. Où est Dieu? Mais il est là. That à l'époque, c'était is enormous. It's divine. It's incredible. That is immortal. That has gone through the ages. It's a drawing. Look at these, this drawing. Il est comme une âme. Il est quelque you chose. have first the being, ici. meaning you, maison. me, the initiated. Ici, the initiated enters into the school of God, the house of God. Where is he? He is there. At this time, it was Osiris. It was much, it was a lot more powerful than us because God now presents himself like either neither a man or a woman. He presents himself like a thing. He is in his house. And he, here is the law of the round of archangels, the four pillars and the four worships, and the four seasons, and this round that continues to start over and over. He stays eternally. He is the king of kings. And here you have the barrier of the worlds, meaning 
Pourquoi Parce the recycling. Que Dieu est vivant à il t'éveille, il vient te chercher, the world mais il a que lui qui existe. where man lives. Tous les les sont des If mais you, can, you only live for recycling, Vous you will not even know this. We don't even speak of this. You're not even at the enter of at the beginning of the temple. You are on the exterior. You're only living for garbage. There's no awakenment inside of you. But if there has been an awakenment, why? Because God is inside of you. He comes to get you. It's only Him that exists. All of the others are at His service. Uh, look at everything and how it is organized. You have the world of the ancients that are there. And He venerates the ancients. And He venerates all the bodies and all the worlds. They are not in the world of what is alive, it cannot manifest itself. Do you see the superior of the visible world compared to the invisible world? It's marked here. You have the invisible world. What can they do? They can't do anything. Do you see arms you? Do you see feet and Yes, but they are fetus. They have it in potential. They don't have it. They can't even move. Only their head is awakened, their eyes and their senses. They live without a body, so they can't manifest in themselves or not do anything on earth. They only live in the world of spirit, but the problem is that they are not in the world of spirit. Only he is in the world of spirit. He has arms, but he is also in another world. Look at him. Then they are real. Then they have arms. Then they have feet. They act, they hold symbols and things. The more we approach, the more they become alive. And the more we are far, the less they are, because it is when we forget, and that is death. Because that's why I'm telling you they are liars, not that I'm criticizing, I'm protecting you. I'm telling you that you must have discernment. We are making you believe that I'm telling you what is most important for you, you or your house, but for you. Ask people, what is it, oh, me or the house? No, it's me. Uh, mistake. Your house is more important than you because your house, it will stay. But you, you will only pass. And when you will die, if you didn't put in your house, a family and children Alors, will disappear, cela, really, Alors, because when your body is no longer there, the memory is much more important. When no one will remember you on earth, you will be obligated to reincarnate. And if, when you come back, if there's no house or family, I can guarantee you that it's over. We have put a whole place in a mode of life. In a superior world, because it is foolishness. So here, man is starting to enter into the school of God. He is guided by Anubis, meaning the forces of death. And man ultimately can only enter into a world of light by lying, by dying to the world of darkness. You can only enter into truth when you die to the lies. You can only enter into knowledge when you give yourself up. When you're a human being, there's a moment you cannot enter when you think you're intelligence because these beings, they see you. And ultimately, they will not pass. They will not let you pass. And you will be enclosed in your world. And you will live enclosed just as there's an opportunity and awakenment. And these beings, they will conduct everything towards recycling. I can give you many examples. So ultimately, you are guided by Anubis, being the god that guides the ones that are awakened live greater than death. If you only want to live with your body, then no. It's normal that a newborn lives with his body. It's very normal. 14 and 21 year old, 20 year old, you, 21 year old, you live with your thoughts and an activity at 28. And then you put things and birth, you're giving birth to things at 35, 42 you live with a soul, or either you have one or not, a body at 42, or you're still a child of 14 years old. So there, Anubis, he brings, what does he bring? He brings your double, it's not really a physical body. 
it's a double. He brings your double. You're initiated into the invisible worlds that are subtle. And then what he shows them to you, the central point, meaning the heart, the center. Then you have all the attributes, attributes of Archangel Michael. You have to know how to read. You have to say that the Christians just stop to bow and see their grandmother in Egypt in the continuation of God. And all these religions are sacred. And all the beings that prayed God, and they found, many people found God without being Buddhist or animist or materialistic. And all these beings are looking for God, meaning happiness and balance. And everyone wants to not go here. You don't really want to kiss the one that devours. You see how she's powerful, but she's not negative. She's not negative. You have Anubis, death. You have Mahat, truth, the pillar, the central pillar of life, of truth, the individuality. I'm letting you meditate. So the individuality is the pillar, the central pillar, the respect of individuality, the sovereignty. sovereignty. A king is not superior to his subjects. But he's only a father in front of his children. A father is superior in front of his children, but not fundamentally superior because the child will be a father. And everyone needs to be a king. When you are a real king, you have royalty. But when you are a false king, then you have enslavement. But ultimately, beings are enslaved. It's a false being, false king. Every La dévoreuse n'est pas every notre king elle est à is in every temps, family, every home. We shouldn't think the same vie. way. Toi, we must all be different, but Alors, we, shouldn't amis, ha we can ça, still have parlez, common values. Dit, Michael, it's so evident when I'm telling you, so childish. Eh bien, vous avez Anubis, it's evident, come on, balance, it's written here. The, the one that devours, she is not her enemy. She is at the end, the inside of the temple because she takes everything that is negative away into our lives. But if you put her against you, then you are as bad. It's Archangel Michael that tells you the balance and all of his attributes. Then you have Anubis, death, that regulates the balance. Who did you give light to your life? Did you give it to death or life? Then you have Tut. That the one si tu pas honnête, they are together, si tu pas clair, si tu pas juste, the one that writes everything, the heart, the heart that is, I'm not going to enter into the ah, philosophy of the, the Egyptian. Egyptian. It's very funny. You have a, quite a humor. It's the heart, the harmony. If you do not live with your heart, if you're not honest, if you're not clear, if you're not just, you will all be devoured. Ensuite, tu es présenté par Horus. Oh, it's the last judgment. No, it's not in the Anubis beyond. It's all the time, everywhere. Le Who cares if it's in the beyond? We'll do. We'll see it after. Horus, la oh, the thought of men. No, it's all the time. It's everywhere. It's now. Et là, tu es it's something that turns. Devant la statue de Dieu. Et Et then réalité, you have, ça, you are presented Dieu, in front of Oris, meaning the superior Alors, faculties, avez Anubis, uh, si vous the will, ce que je vous là, uh, à plat, tat, bah, vous avez mat, ce the heart, Et ça, vous that ça makes you be able to fly in the superior worlds that are far. And there you're presented in front of the statue of God. And in reality, all of this, the school of God, learning and recycling and the cycle ah so bon, you have effectively if you put what I've put here voilà. horizontally Là, you Anubis. have this and you will find this Là, in the Buddhism in the Muslims you will find Et these teachings everywhere Horus because it is universal but simply today a it is a service Really, by worlds that enter and determine it. Il y a ce qui est bon et ce qui doit être transformé. Here you have Anubis. Il est éveillé dans sa vie. Here Dieu you have the balance. 
And here you have Horus, that is ultimately the representation of God on earth because he has elevated his thought into the superior worlds. And he is in recycling, of course, because he is in this balance. There is what is good and what needs to be transformed. He is awakened in his life. God doesn't want you to be unhappy. God has decreed unhappiness because you generate garbage. You associate yourself with worlds that are not wise in all the worlds. You are not clear. You are not in harmony. You are not in order. No. Is it bad? No. You'll start over. And you'll start over. And you'll start over. And you'll start over and start over. Just until there are chiefs that are parents that are full of dignity, then the education becomes good again. There, you have the two statues. There, what I told you, it's like mental forces, visions, but in practice, it's very simple. You have the statue in front of you and the recycling statue in back of you. You pass the passage, enter, in, enter onto the carpet of prayer, with psalms, with the archangel Mikael that is, are already hot to tell you what you must say, what you must ask by a prayer, to have the instantaneity of being present. I want to receive what I should have and to have the force to transform myself. I want to be in discipline. discipline. I do not go towards God without studying, without looking at one another. I go towards God by knowing myself. I do not enter a temple like that. I must honor God. He must be honored. I must serve Him. I must offer things to Him. I have all the mantras. I can give them to you. I have all the mantras for the ones that aggress us with ecology, the ones that aggress us, to ask us for help and give for this and give for this. I only give to my church. It's systematical. I will even record it onto my phone. I only give to my to my church. And even in stores, we should do this. Uh, why isn't it written on a piece of paper that they give everything and robots to have a little bit always the same mantras that we're repeating to, anew, to everyone. And you can say, no, I only give to God. And you will see that there's a moment it changes everything in your life. Everything, the way of living, the way of seeing. And then ultimately, it's mantras, okay? Behind the mantras that you're saying, there's whole worlds that want to enter by repetition. If you have the spoken word that is just, these worlds will completely stop and bow and they will start to respect you because you're starting to awaken. And then ultimately you, can, you should only give to God. Only to God in your life eh? and to live for God. And God will make something be born in, inside of you, an immortal mortality because the sense of life on earth is immortality, and you'll see that the body is only a placenta. You see the victory of Ani and Benoit that went all the right way to the end. I can tell you that it's really something, because they succeeded to make, recognize their rights, that the placenta wasn't garbage. Man is not garbage. Oliver, you just said the opposite. No, fundamentally, he is not the garbage. It's the idea, the, pr the temple of man, to only live for something that are not really negative, but are not the essential. Man is allowed to be happy on earth. It's even a quintessence of life of ha to be happy. God is felicity. He is generosity, sharing all the, virtu the virtues of the angels. He is the only one that is alive. He is the one that protects justice. Just, do you explain to me, do you think men will bring justice? They are impartial. Have you seen men that are impartial, that work 
on themselves, how can they be impartial? So you have all of this discipline. I don't know if it's clear. You have to liberate yourself of all karmas, of all the destinies that is negative families of yourself, of heredity, of the people, of the nation. There's enormous individuals on earth that are here that is that politics is real and that they're making decisions in your name on debts on, on something to make things and your name is on this and the cons and you will have the consequences of what your parents have done and if you will have the consequences of what the the ones that direct are doing or imposing because you are free to choose even if they make you believe that you're obligated. We are not obligated in front of these worlds. We don't have to serve them. And we are not even when we are able to be in disaccordance. If not, it's tyranny. It's not the respect of individuality. There, you have all of these styles of operation. Maybe it's clear of the statue of recycling, their presentation of rising on your carpet of prayer, Anubis, the behavior that is just, the behavior that is just in all situations. And you will be tempted, and you will have tests, and we'll see how you react. If you react just, if you don't react just, you don't pass. In the middle is the attitude. You have to have the attitude. It's not only the behavior on the exterior, but you have to have the attitude inside of you that is just. And then you have to have the comprehension that is just and global. When you have this, consciousness will appear. That is the virginity, the virgin, that will give birth to the light inside of you, Horus, the behavior, the Viel, Anubis, Horus, the attitude that is inside, tut, the temple, the heart, comprehension that is just of all the implications, of all the influences, the worlds, the in, uh, universal vision that is great, not only yours, Horus, you have wings, you have the eye of Horus, and you can see things, all the influences, the ma all the magic, the consciousness will appear, and then you are ready to honor God and to present yourself in front of the Statue of Light, and you pronounce the Gospels of the Archangels with the attitude, the behavior, and the comprehension. You are a priest, a priestess, and you make God alive on earth, and you are in his blessing. You offer him the speech, the attitude, the behavior, and the comprehension, then you are welcomed. You are holding yourself in the temple. Everything is perfect. The devourer, the one that devours, is behind you. You ask something, you have it. You want it to, to be liberated from a world, the the one that devours, except because you are working for the light. And to take away something, so it will be somewhere. So it's a whole transformation. So we need a whole organization to transform into knowledge. There, you have a great path that is clear. Everything is clear. Blessing and lots of strength.